a car Hussein salamu alaykum I see a lot of hukm that Muslims are not allowed to live in a non-Muslim country if this is the case why don't our shiuch uh, talk about this uh, in the West about migration uh, you see that hukm is, is, is in existence it is correct but it has to be explained it is not black and white like many people uh, may make it uh, sound like uh, because quite frankly right now uh, exercising a living Islam even in the Muslim world is becoming more challenging yes there is a, a lesser uh, you know uh, quantity of uh, fitan trials and tribulations but still uh, you know uh, so uh, the hukum exists uh, dear questioner uh, but I think all what it matters at the end is the application of that hukum, that religious ruling, and uh, explaining when uh, migration or leaving uh, the land here, the non-Muslim land in particular, uh, is mandatory. When you're unable to uh, live Islam, when you're unable to uh, practice Islam, when you're unable to display Islam, when you're unable uh, to pray. Uh, I just heard today somebody told me that uh, Salatul Taraweeh was uh, uh, witnessed last night in uh, Times Square in New York. Uh, tell me one Muslim country who would allow that. You know, and so uh, living here uh, must be with the intention of giving da'wah to non-Muslims. This is number one. Uh, so you're giving da'wah because uh, these people here are entitled to hear about Islam. Um, and there is no other way, quite frankly, as we speak, uh, even in the near, near future, that we can actually bring Islam to them through Jihad al the, the through the uh, regular uh, form, uh, which was done in the past. Fa Yes, we should share the hukum, but we should share also the details about it. Assalamu alaikum.